Hey, slot car enthusiasts. It's your buddy Anthony uh, with another edition of Race to Win. It's been a while. Um, life happens, I guess. A lot of good things happening in, in my family and just haven't had a lot of time to really spend with my slot car set. But at the urging of my youngest son, Roman, I need to put some content up. And what I've got is a couple of uh, plastic Carrera track and I want to show you a feature that I've incorporated in my layout that I think has really enhanced the racing experience. Um, I'm going to pan over to my, my layout. Um, it's about 140 feet of track, Carrera track, it's a Carrera digital layout. You can't see it, but behind all of my curved track, all the 160 track, here, you can't see it, but underneath all of the curved track sections of my layout, I've incorporated a little gem that has really helped uh, the racing experience by changing the angle of the curve. And what I mean is simple shim stock. Stuff you can get from Home Depot I think I bought a pack today just for this video for like a buck 50. But you see that angle? That angle is gonna help your car stay on the track and give you higher speeds going into and coming out of your curved section track. So what I did in my layout, and I want to show you an example of these two Carrera uh, plastic tracks is I put two shim stock underneath each curved track. And like I said, I did this throughout the entire um, 140 feet of track in my layout. But as you can see, there's two for this one and two for this one. Now on my layout, I'm gonna pan back over and please forgive me if this is distracting, but you can't see it because all my track is in set in foam board. But if you were to really measure it, all of my track is slightly angled inboard. And what that's gonna do for you is allow you to go a little faster going into and coming out of your curved track. And quite frankly, you can use it on straight track too, but there isn't a whole lot of advantages. But in the curved track, um, you can really increase your speed. So as an example, this particular uh, curved track here, I've got two uh, door shims underneath it and it changes that inboard angle maybe three degrees or so I've never really fully measured it but I'm going to estimate three to five degrees but it makes a big difference in terms of how much throttle you can give it going into these uh, into these curved tracks so as an example under all of these curved tracks I've got shim stock and that shim stock allows me to go a lot faster throughout my layout so I wanted to make a quick video, and even though you can't see the shim stock, I just wanted to show you how pervasive uh, the door shims are in my layout, and I think it makes for better racing. So uh, just uh, a little tidbit that I think it's very helpful, and I'm gonna go back over to my workstation. And like I said, it's just simple shim stock, slide it underneath your curved track and what it does is it gives you a little bit of an angle so that everything is inboard so you can go a little faster around your curved track and I think this will help you if you decide to incorporate it. I think you'll see the difference so not to hold you too much longer hope this helps let me know in the comment section if you think this is a good idea um, certainly for my layout, it has really made a big difference, and I uh, highly recommend it. Can't beat it for less than two bucks. So with that being said, uh, oh, one other thing. I think in my layout, I may have as many as 60, 60 to 80 shim stock pieces in my layout alone. So I know that's a lot, but like I said, when I found out how advantageous it was, I just said the more the, the merrier. 
and uh, I recommend it to you too. So let me know in the comments sections if you agree or you disagree. If you use it, did you see a, a big improvement in the speeds in which you can go in and out of your curved track and let me know. So with that being said, this is uh, Anthony signing out. Another edition of Race to Win. And uh, you have a great day, you and your family. Bless you.